Hello and welcome back to Reading Moon Thunder. I'm Erica and I'm here to give you a prophetic dream warning against um, um, failure to launch and failure to um, reach your destiny. That is the warning. So there is a special prayer at the end of this. So you're going to want to stay tuned and repeat out loud. This is the year of the of the mouth. As in declaring, decreeing, you have to open your mouth to proclaim these things, to cancel them. You actually literally have to open your mouth. Okay? So, this is how it went. Walking home um, from work. So, walking towards the car getting ready to drive home from work and suddenly I see a cricket and it just appeared out of nowhere so it jumped right beside me and I'm like what so I look and it jumps again forward okay and I think at first locust is God trying to tell me something is this a sign but then I just brush it out of my mind and I um and I just drove home. In the dream, I was on my way to the store. I got in the car. I sat down in the driver's seat. And I decided to double check my bank account in that moment. Because I needed to buy several things. And one really expensive item, I guess, in the dream. And then... I noticed that the money was missing. When that was happening, I realized I looked down and I see that my feet, I cannot see my feet because now there's something covering my feet, which I notice is a bunch of fabric, which then I realized I know what exactly what type of fabric it is. There's certain curtains. As I'm um, realizing that I cannot launch to drive somewhere where, where I wanted to go because of the now the money's missing and now my feet are like trapped within these curtains I get frustrated and I began to yank out these curtains and I just throwing them onto the the, the passenger side and it's just almost ridiculous how many curtains were there Layers upon layers, and there are specific color of curtains, um, and there was about seven curtains there, seven or eight curtains there, and um, the thing is, in real life, I did wash these curtains, and I placed them in a pile of laundry that I haven't got to for about like a week and a half, and I was gonna getting excited to actually hang these curtains in this room. I'm, get, I'm trying to prep this room for when, the, you know, my older children return. And I had this whole idea of decorating. And um, with, a, with a certain color scheme. So I was actually kind of attached to these curtains. But when I saw it in my dream, and when I... Um, I saw it in, trapped in my feet. I was feeling like getting a very bad vibe out of these curtains. Prior to thinking of the idea of using these curtains to decorate the room, I did receive this bad vibe upon receiving the curtains. Okay? But I brushed it aside again. Note that down. I felt like they were cursed. But I brushed that thought aside. For months, I brushed it aside. Because they were so beautiful. And because I really desired them. And because um, they were expensive. And because I didn't want to think that someone could possibly treat us that way. And cursed items. I didn't want it to go there.
but the Lord has told me a few times now, it's cursed item. So, yes, and then in the dream, I heard locusts. So, yes, we can cause our the own locusts to happen with our own behavior. It has a lot to do with the finances, okay? That, that was all tied into. And yes, it is possible with our own selfish behavior, but we have been giving some tithes and we have been generous and not just the money department in our giving in our time in our energy um we're not perfect but this was not about what we have done to ourselves this was specific that the lord was saying there are cursed item in your home so um what I realized is the clues are there, but sometimes we stuff it and we ignore it just like we ignore when we're supposed to release ourselves from toxic relationships. We ignore that because we love them, because we desire to have unity. But the Lord has been going through his harvest you know, separating the wheat from the tares. In the sense, we were supposed to also be in that stage in our own personal life and do the same thing within, not everybody goes with us in the next season. Okay, so we were supposed to do that as well. And in this sense, it was crucial, it was essential to do so because um Certain people, when you stay too close to those who are going to receive the wrath, it's, the wrath is going to rub off on oneself, unfortunately. So that is the other reason besides. If the Lord says you need to not hang out with certain individuals, even if they're at your job site, okay, you need to obey. You need to obey. And um, in this sense, it's stealing where the finances and the career advancement, the Lord has brought that up. So um, in the sense, there was a curse of witchcraft, a locust curse on these items so if you have the items in the home they are then affecting they are affecting and this was hidden this is why it's important to go to the secret place this is when you are it's kind of like you have a treasure map and you are um in the secret place and either it's given it's giving in prayer, in utterance, um, in a scripture, the Lord can talk to you. Maybe through hearing another prophetic word and he's giving revelation that way. There's a perceiving going on. So there's a lot going on. To be, um, There is husband saying from a long time ago to throw away those curtains and start over. You know, don't bring them. Um Sometimes um, we discredit other people because one wants to live in denial, okay? Sometimes we think that they're just wanting, they're like saying that we have too much stuff. Like, he knows I buy a lot of curtains. That's my thing. He buys, he likes to buy shoes and I like to buy curtains. I like to change it up. So he just thought, just throw them away. We have too many. And I understand that, but there was a certain color scheme that I was kind of going for. And... Even though I had that feeling that it could have been cursed, I just brushed it aside. You see what I mean? That and within, it's also relationship um, standpoint. could be the same clues, okay? So, um, enough of that. And we are going to jump right into praying. So, when we are getting rid of curses... And it's 
essential to dive in and receive the provisions. This is what the treasure is. It's the honey and the honey is the wisdom. And then that unlocks the key, the right key. So the Lord gave me keys of authority and keys of knowledge and wisdom to share to the people of how. Because some of these things, we are all hands on deck and having to fix and be more generous and be non-selfish and stuff like that. And um, so into ministries, stuff like that, okay? But some of it has to do with literally being, uh, there's a cursed item in the house and you need to remove it. So immediately when I woke up from the dream, I went directly to that pile of clothes to prove to myself, because the dream felt so real, okay? I, I was like, if it's not here, it's still in the car. I didn't take it out of the, because I woke up right when I finished grabbing the last curtain, I woke up. So I went in real life, I woke up and I went to that pile and I saw him there. So then that's when I knew this is a dream. And that is a humongous clue. And the Lord is revealing because it's appointed times and he is because of the other acts of obedience he has and because of the the diving into the secret place he has allowed for me to discover the key to unlock to break the curse besides throwing it away physically throwing it away removing it from your home just throw it away don't give it to somebody else even god sees that too just throw it away and that in itself binds the entryway to those that have cursed it. Okay, they can't. Besides that, then you do it in the spiritual realm, blocking it. So it's very important to pour in blessings, decrees and declarations while you're then also then binding it and destroying the attacks of the enemy. And I'm going to tell you this, after we did this prayer, um, the Lord started revealing his next steps, do, making um, new beginnings, all things new. And it started explaining literally the next steps to um, provisions and launching just by being obedient. All right. Prayers against failures in the dream. Now, Hebrews 12, 1, and I'm getting this. Please follow um, Evangelist Joshua or or a key ministries. He also has Joshua Evangelist Joshua TV on YouTube. He, I have been receiving a lot of um, wisdom and guidance as he breaks down, because I receive a lot of visions and dreams, and I'm still in training with the Lord, but he just, he also provides access to resources to help understand and to then to then transfer the information to you. So you're going to be praying to the Lord in the secret place, asking him what trinkets. It's not going to, it may not be a curtain for you. It basically is something that somebody gave you that didn't give it to you in the best of hearts. Okay. An ill wish had maybe been speaking poorly. And um, some people are actually real witches where they do potions and spells in there. Um, sacrifices and and they you know monitoring spirits and they they they, they manifest it and there's called spirituality spiritism and that has a lot to do with uh, manifesting it out loud um, for things to happen to people and that's not from the Lord okay that's not Christian that's not Judeo Christian that is not um, holy that is actually witchcraft straight up witchcraft. And um, 
um, we cancel that in Jesus' name. All right, Hebrews 12, 1 says, Let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. John 15 and 18, If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. So in that sense, the Lord takes it offense when harm comes to you because he has all these riches and provisions and blessings and joy and happiness and he knows it's been calling, causing some strife where money just goes missing okay so and he wants you to launch in your career and he and then he wants you to get hired on he wants you to change jobs or career advancement promotion he stated promotion he's not the one holding it but the ones that are holding it is us that don't go into the secret place and figure it out. Us who don't grab this knowledge and take it seriously and do whatever you can to satisfy what the Lord wants in your life. And also curses. Okay? That's what hinders. So we got to break them. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the thoughts I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Deuteronomy 8, 18, you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers that it is this day. Now, he is the one. We have to recognize that the Lord is the one that gave us these jobs. The Lord is the one that gave us these ideas for um, businesses, for kingdom businesses. King, this, this is more so a tax on kingdom marriages. Um and so the enemy doesn't want you to grow and to launch and to receive the promises. So some people take it to, some people are used by the enemy. They're the enemy soldiers and not the Lord's. And they go with their bitterness and with their envy and with their jealousy. They know what's going to happen to his covenant remnant people. And they, they know that their inheritance is coming. They know that they have... Um, kingdom businesses to launch they know that uh, promotions are coming even um, blessing of the womb is coming and then they try to sabotage so those are not your true friends and the Lord at this time besides honoring and praying these prayers you also have to make sure that to keep your circle small and keep your walls up and I am giving um, there's other videos lately that I've been putting of strong prayers to rise up our walls and rebuild and we're rebuilding in fat strong foundations now um let me explain a little bit about failures to launch and failure of destiny it can um multiply your sorrows and frustrations delay destiny um, it can um, delay advancement in life, career, business, and marriage. It Failure to be able to press the pedals is the vehicle it has to do with your life. Okay? It means a series of disappointments, failures at the edge of breakthrough, pain, shame, all kinds of delays, discouragement, unfruitfulness. And then um, the sad part is when you are hanging out around people who you thought were your teacher, your friend, your family, your BFF, your, you know, if you're in a rotten relationship, could be even, a, you know, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, that's not kingdom marriage. That could be actually trying to purposely give you um, bad advice, um, not clap with for you when when great things are happening. Pay attention to that. You try to explain something, but they just act aloof, like you said, nothing important. Um, if it was a teacher, they give you poor scores, even though you deserved a really great score. 
because you know you did the hard work for it. Um, let's see. It's just uh, setbacks. And you just keep feeling that there's failures. So um, trying to make friends, but it just seems like instead they're becoming bullies. That trying to practice and learn a an instrument or or a a sport but they're not passing you the ball they're not there it's your turn to learn the skill but the other people around you are not allowing you to practice they're being menacing and they're getting you in trouble okay things like that um and i don't want to put too much time this is the other thing that we need to stop doing taking so much time talking about the problem okay so yes there has been fr frustrations that we maybe the finances it just seemed like there wasn't enough money all of a sudden there was wasn't enough like and you've never experienced that before and sometimes god does that so that you can launch into a new career it changed your job and yes he does that but this time the lord is saying is specifically a curse all right, so now we're diving into the prayer. I bind and cast. So you're going to say this out loud with me. I bind and cast out of my life the spirit of repeated failures in the name of Jesus. Every satanic teacher, lecture, friend, family member, um, acquaintance, team player, that's coming over my life, of my family's life, to have me fail. In Jesus' name, I break you off. I release myself from satanic um, attacks in the dream, in Jesus' name. I withdraw my names from satanic register of those that will fail and crawl in my life in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my names in the names of my family from the satanic register of those that will try to fail and crawl back in, in our lives in the name of Jesus. Every power of my father's house against my, my academic progress, against my career, my marriage, my finances, my children, my children's academic and extracurricular activities to lose your authority over in the name of Jesus. Examination failures. Um, failure to um, launch at work. Failure to get hired failure to be a candidate failure to launch the vehicle of our lives failure to learn the instrument or failure to um, attacks to um, disgrace in the sport be disgraced in the name of jesus our god arise and speak success into my life in the name of Jesus. I submit my pa papers of destiny to the right teacher. I submit my life and my destiny to Jesus in the name of Jesus. Every curse of failures around me break by fire. Every curse around my family break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse of seeing opportunities around me and not being able to utilize them. Break by fire, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse of seeing opportunities around my family and not being able to utilize them. Break by fire, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Let every spiritual demon marking my script of destiny, let every spiritual demon marking the script of my family's destiny burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. 
every force of failure trying to prevent me from writing my papers in the dream. Every force of failure trying to prevent me from launching my career. Every force of failure trying to prevent my family from launching their destiny in every aspect. Be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus. I receive the spirit of speedy memory recollections. I receive the spirit of um, my body being in alignment and of non-injuries in the name of Jesus. Holy fire, holy ghost fire, repair my academic foundation, repair my children's academic foundation in the blood of Jesus. O oh Lord, let the power waiting for my downfall be to stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let the power waiting for my family, my children's downfall to stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. Every inherited disappointments at the edge of my success. Every inherited disappointments at the edge of my family's success depart from us in the name of Jesus. As from today, success is my new name. I have no relation with backwardness and stagnation in Jesus' name. As from today, success is my my family's new name. I have no relationship with backwardness and stagnation in Jesus' name. Evil marks in my body taking me to satanic classroom to write exams. I rebuke you today in Jesus' name. Evil marks and evil gossip and slander in our names be rebuked in the name of Jesus. Power must change hands in my case today in the name of Jesus. I recover all my glories hidden in my formal schools in the name of Jesus. I recover all my glories hidden in my formal days in Jesus' mighty name. Every frustration upon my life, upon my family's life, be canceled by the blood of Jesus. I liberate myself and my family from every suffering and profitless hard labor in Jesus' name. Powers pulling us down out of successful people, receiving double calamity in the name of Jesus. My glory come out of the cage of demonic um, influence in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus deliver me from problems that would cause me to curse my family in Jesus' name. Every power coming from satanic um, influence in the dream to attack my family Myself, in Jesus' name, be broken off. Shaka sharaba shaka si. Power of persistent failures to be destroyed by fire, in Jesus' name. I break the power of ancest ancestral idols over my life and destiny, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I am moving forward and nothing can drag me backward. Again, in the mighty name of Jesus. Sarakashana mati sarakashi. The God who changed the story of Peter answered me to be successful in whatever I laid my hands on. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I will um, put this in the description so that you guys can read it off again if you need to. And I have given um, more information if you'd like to sow. I always have to offer that since the Lord wants me to do so. Um, has a lot to do with breaking um, financial curse is by sowing. All right. I pray that the Lord fill your lives with a life full of milk and honey.